Now, is this going to work? <laughs> I don't know. Let's press play to see if this is actually playable. Game Dev Assistant is a coding agent that lives inside of the Godot engine. It can help you make games faster by answering questions, as well as actively working on your game, creating notes, scripts, particle effects, and much more. Let's have a look at an example. Our example today is going to be more ambitious than the ones we've done in the past. I've got an empty scene and the add-ons folder has Game Dev Assistant plugin enabled. And I also have a sprite folder with multiple images. And we're going to go big and going to ask it to create a mini playable game. Put together this quick game design document, create a mini platformer with the following. The player use the character 001 to one of the images. We want our character to have basic um, movement and jump, as you would expect in a platformer, collision detection. Also, we want the player to be positioned on top of a platform. For the enemies, we're going to have just one enemy. This is the image we'll use, character 9. The enemy should be floating in the air and moving up and down. For the environment, we want some uh, rectangles for the platforms. They should be solid, and we want to use a brown material. We're also going to have a nice background image. There are some images here that we're going to use a desert background image as well as a camera. So let's copy all of these and paste it into our assistant. OK, so we have a response. There are instructions on how to create this project. You can follow along and uh, take all of these steps and you'll have uh, hopefully a playable platformer. Um, but Game Dev Assistant also gives you the option to have all of these applied for you. If you don't want to do it all manually, if we scroll down, you're going to see that there are user actions. And there are a lot of actions because we did provide pretty complex requirements. So uh, let's have a look at some of them. So there are actions to create scripts, create nodes, modify nodes. And there are also the creation of sub resources and the attachment of certain scripts to a, a specific node. For example, here it is assign script enemy gd to node enemy so you can either apply the options that you like or you can click apply all which is also new that will apply them all for us so let's let's see what happens if i click apply all so i can see that things are happening it is creating and configuring different nodes so um we can see that we've got our our player our enemy our ground platform and if we look at the files of the project in scripts, we'll find uh, both scripts that were proposed by the AI. And uh, we can see that the player has the script attached and the enemy has the script attached as well. We also have the camera. Now, is this going to work? <laughs> I don't know. I can already see that the platform is not brown, so it looks like it skipped that requirement. But let's press play to see if this is actually playable. OK, so as expected, I cannot see the platform, but I can move the character, I can jump, and the enemy is also moving up and down. So this is pretty cool. I'm uh, very happy with the results for just one single prompt. The idea here is that it's not that this is going to make our game, but it's just going to help us get mechanics, test concepts, try out things just much quicker. That was a good demo, but what would be even better would be for me to try to run your prompts or your ideas. So if you have anything that you'd like me to cover next time, please put it in the comments and I'll do my best to include those in the next video. If Game Dev Assistant can do those things, of course, and if it can't, it's going to be good feedback for us and things to improve. With that said, I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.